Hello, hello, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Inglês no Cru Rádio. My name is Foster. I am here with... Ah, me, Alexia. <laughs> Alexia is reviewing her notes, but she is here with me. Hey, Alexia, how are you this morning? I'm fine. I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. So today on so the British. show... Fantastic is not British. <laughs> Again, I am the English teacher. So this week on English no Kuruhaju, we are talking about thinkers and dreamers, personality types. So these ideas come from a book called Future Boards by a lady named Sarah Centrilla. And if you didn't listen to the show yesterday, probably worth checking that out. But today on the show, Alexia and I are going to exchange a few more questions about what it means to be a thinker if we are thinkers, and just debate, talk about it, discuss. Yes, we have decided that we should do one more about thinkers because we still have a lot of good questions. And that's it. That's it. Do you want me to start asking you a question? Sure. You want to ask me the first question? Yeah. Go for it. I am all ears. I'm an open book. <laughs> so first one, is your schedule predictable? Is my schedule predictable? See, these questions are hard because, okay, not really. I would say like the first hour of my day is pretty predictable because I have to wake up, get coffee, go to the bathroom, take a shower, brush my teeth, kind of normal stuff. <laughs> yeah, but it depends on my mood, on the season, on our work schedule, on where we are. Physically in the world? I would say that if we are at the same place together and we are at home with our routines, yes, it's predictable. We know exactly what we need to do during that week and everything that it needs to be accomplished, right? Yeah. yeah. So I would say in general, quite predictable. So if we are both working, for example, right now we're in the U.S., And we wake up and pretty much work all day until dinner time and then have dinner and then watch a documentary or something with my dad. Yeah. Very predictable. Very boring. And no. no, I'm just saying when we're working. For example, if we're in Portugal, it's more or less the same thing except we go to a co-working space and then come home and have dinner and watch a documentary with your dad. <laughs> so You're when forgetting we're, about our walks as well. Yes, we also go on walks during the week when we're working. Pretty predictable, except if we are traveling, then all predictability is thrown out the window. Yes. Do you agree with my answer? Yes, I do. Okay. So, I have a question for you. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Are you budget conscious? I knew it. I knew that. Yes, I am. Nowadays, yes, I am. <laughs> okay. So, just so everyone understands the question, how would you say budget in Portuguese? Um, orçamento. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. yeah, because I had verba in my mind, but it's not the <laughs> way that we use it. So, it's orçamento. Yeah. So, when I ask the question, are you budget conscious? That just means, are you mindful of the way that you spend money? Do you have a certain amount of money that you can spend each day, week, month, or something like that? And do you stick to that plan? Yes, I do. Nowadays, yes, I do. For example, we just had Black Friday here on Cyber Monday, and I had an amount of money to spend on Christmas presents and anything that I needed to buy at the end of the year. So I had that, that, that amount, and I'm very happy to say that I stayed with that amount. And I save money and I know exactly how much I need to spend on supermarkets and our bills for the apartment and etc. So, yes, I'm very happy to say that I am. Yeah, I agree with you. Also, when I think of people that are budget conscious, I think of kind of the next level of really being concerned about your money and your spending. For example, I recently listened to a podcast that was talking about budgets and money and things like that. And they had this rule called the 50-30-20 rule. 
Uh-huh. Have you heard of this? No. So essentially, it is 50% of your monthly budget should be spent towards living expenses. So this is rent, utilities, electricity, food, groceries, and then 30% should go to kind of disposable income, things that you don't necessarily need but you want, like Netflix, going out to eat, Mm -hmm. going to an extra yoga class or something like that, and then 20% should automatically go into savings. So that's kind of what I think about budget conscious people, and I'm nowhere near of that level of sophistication. Yes, but I think that you you start at some point. But I, I do think as well that I, I'm not a crazy person about money. I can be pretty organized when I want to be and when I need to be. And so you, you are as well. So are you as well. Yeah. 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 We, we are not big spenders. No. We don't spend much money. We don't really like buy fancy things. But at the same time, I would not say that we're... Extremely budget conscious. Like Monfichada. Yeah. Do you know a good translation for Monfichada? No. Stingy. Stingy. Yes. So I'm not sure in Portuguese if if you say someone is Monfichada, is that almost a bad thing? Like it it's depends not... the way that I say it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Tipo, ah, Foster, deixa de ser Monfichada. Dá para você pagar isso. Exactly. So this is a good example. If you say that someone is stingy, that really means that they are milfishad, that they really don't want to spend their money. They're very concerned about their budget. But if you say someone is frugal, Mm -hmm. that is saying the exact same thing, but in a more positive light. Okay. Like, oh, he's frugal. He's good at saving money. But if he's stingy, it's like we're going out to eat and he is the only one that doesn't want to share the check or something. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, it does. Cool. Do you want to give me one more question? One more question. Do you tend to make lists, spreadsheets, and plans? Spreadsheets? Definitely not. List more and more every day. So I'm trying, I'm really trying to be more organized, not in a traditional way, but more mentally organized with my thoughts because I have somewhat of a scattered brain, so my minds are quite disorganized. So I'm trying to get better with the list and what was the question? List, spreadsheets, and plans? Yes. Yeah. I'm not a very good planner. I know you're not. (laughs) Yeah. I am a better, uh, I am, I am a a big, a a small planner. (laughs) Were you going to say a big planner and then you just changed to a small planner? Yes. Okay. So the idea here, Alexia, (laughs) is we have thinkers and dreamers. I believe from our conversation today (laughs) and yesterday, we talked about thinkers. I think that you are much more of a thinker than I am. (laughs) I think it depends on the occasion. There you go, thinking again. <laughs> yes, so I am a thinker. <laughs> okay. But why are you laughing? Don't you think that I am not a big planner? I am not a big planner, am I? You're a very big planner. No, I, I used to be. When you met me, I was all about plans. And nowadays, I just roll the dice and follow you. And that's it. I still think you're a huge, huge planner. Okay. I love I mean, my calendar. Well, you've been planning what gifts to get people for Christmas. Yeah, I love that. Since you've been here. No. And you ask me about it every day about different presents. I have not thought once <laughs> about Christmas presents. You know why? When it's close to Christmas time, I'll go to the store or just go online <laughs> and buy something that looks cool. I like to plan these things. I'm a dreamer. Yes, You're I'm a thinker. a thinker. That's why we complete each other. Perhaps. So in the next episode or two, we will talk about dreamers and see if I'm actually a dreamer or maybe I'm just a crazy person and see if Alexia is really a thinker or maybe if she's got a little bit of that dreaming heart within her as well. Or just a crazy person as well. Could be. We don't know. (laughs) We will see tomorrow. 
So until then, you guys take it easy. Keep up the good fight. Lose well. Hasta mañana. <laughs> Bye.